You are so mad that your face is turning bright red. As if running a small business is not hard enough, now Chewy.com, Walmart, Amazon, and other mega retailers want to steal your pharmacy business. Urgh! To tap into the lucrative millennial market, Walmart has launched an online pet pharmacy and will have 100 veterinary clinics inside its stores within the next 12 months. King of Petty Commerce, Chewy.com, is worth more than $70 billion. Yes, I said billion with a B. Veterinarians have 62% of pet medication sales, but a pack of competitors is nipping at your heels. What are you going to do? Well, I have strategies to retain and grow your pharmacy's income. I'm Wendy Myers with Communication Solutions for Veterinarians, and for more than 20 years, I've been helping veterinary teams improve their communication skills so that more pets get the medical care that they need and you grow income. I have an upcoming live training program, Get Your Pharmacy Back, and I'm going to show you how much money of your pharmacy income is at risk, and it's a lot, how to set up proactive refill reminder strategies, how to make it super easy for clients to utilize your pharmacy, and how to respond when a client requests a prescription from an outside pharmacy. Yes, you're going to get urgent, got to implement now instructions on ways to stop the internet and retail pharmacies from robbing you. To register for my CE credit class, click on the link in the description of this video. Now I'm going to share one powerful tip with you. Talk to your client. Do not fax back. When you get a fax or email from an internet pharmacy for a pet's prescription, reach out to the client. That's who you have a relationship with. Share the benefits of buying drugs from you. You've got to win back this business and the client's trust. If you sign and return that fax, the internet pharmacy is going to flex its marketing muscle and you're never going to see that prescription again. Before you call the client, check the pet's medical record and see if they have had an exam and a heartworm test in the last 12 months if this is for a heartworm preventative prescription. So I want you, when you call that client, because let's say this pet's overdue, to focus on what you can do. The goal is to make an appointment. So here's what you're going to say. We received a fax today from, and then you'll say the name of the internet pharmacy, for Max's heartworm preventatives. For your dog to safely take his medication, he needs an exam and a heartworm test within the last 12 months. Let's schedule an appointment so we can help you get his medication refilled. We could see Max at 4 on Thursday or 11 on Friday, which works for you. During the appointment, we'll also explain the quality and safety of our heartworm preventatives and tell you about rebates to help you save even more money. Congratulations. You've won back the business. You've kept the prescription. Now, you've also generated income for professional services. The exam, the vaccines, the heartworm test, and other diagnostics. One phone call made you hundreds of dollars, and you reclaimed the client's trust. Do you want more how-to tips of ways to win back and grow your clinic pharmacy? Join me for my one-hour live CE credit webinars on June 20th. Click on the link to enroll today. When you enroll right now, you're going to save $30 on that course. Now, if you're not available on June 20th, do not panic. You already have enough panic in your life, right? I will record it. So if you can't make the live sessions, you can go back and listen again and again and again and share it with your team. See you online. Fight for your pharmacy.